So today, we are gonna be doing the extreme eat it or wear it challenge. Oh my god. We have a lot of things lined up. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, so the first food is relish. Whoa. I think I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna eat it too. Cheers. <laughs> Really? It's pretty gross. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I actually hate it. Swallow, swallow. Uh, okay, I got it. <laughs> Raw eggs. Oh. There's a high chance I'll throw up. <laughs> Come on. I'm gonna try and eat it. Oh my. Oh, oh. I'm wearing it. I'm gonna have to wear it. Uh. All right. Uh. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Dude, this is so nasty. <laughs> Baby food. Oh. I'm gonna have to eat it. Oh. Stop, stop, stop. Uh, oh. After seeing what Ben just went through, I'm gonna have to wear it. Oh, oh, oh my god! <laughs> Cat food! Oh. I'm gonna have to wear it. I'm gonna wear it too. All right. I, oh my god! Oh, you <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so gross. I'm gonna throw up. All right, so the last one is a fish smoothie. Yeah. What is a fish smoothie? <laughs> this should be illegal. I'm gonna wear it. All right. No, this is horrible. This is really bad. All right. Three, two, one. Oh my god! Ah. 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 That's so freaking gross, I'm gonna throw up! <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for coming to our restaurant. Uh, we really appreciate your business. I'll go get the bill. I'm never coming We're back never ever again. coming back <laughs> ever again. All right, so I am here with Justin. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> he is an impersonator, and today we're gonna be surprising my friends with our favorite actors and characters. Oh, bother. <laughs> So I know you love Family Guy. <laughs> yeah. And hey, Caleb, move your giant legs. Shut up, Stewie. Oh my God. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. We're having a good party in here, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. Shut up, there. Oh. Who's your favorite character in Family Guy? Hi, Peter. Yeah, Peter's my. He's my favorite character too. <laughs> from Family Guy, right? Especially because he's got the nice eyebrows. <laughs> Peter Griffin? If, if you'd like Peter Griffin? <laughs> Yo! It doesn't matter if I can do Deadpool because we're gonna have some fun in this car. Oh my god! We gotta keep this guy around, right? <laughs> Man, I didn't catch your name. What was your name? It doesn't matter what your name is, you <laughs> That ain't the rock, that's the pebble. <laughs> so our friend Jeremy just recently graduated high school. But because he goes to online school, he doesn't get to have a real graduation. So today, we are going to surprise him with a full-on graduation. We're gonna have a stage, we're gonna have balloons. It's gonna be a legit graduation. He has no idea this is all happening, and we even have a diploma to give him at the very end. I'm ready. All right, let's go. Hey, Jeremy. Yo. Come on in. Congratulations! Oh, what the heck? <laughs> you. You remember me? I do. We flew out Jeremy's ninth grade English teacher all the way from Ohio. Put this on and we're going to start it up. All right, let's do this. All right, let's go. Ooh. Oh! The idea of humans landing on the moon and the idea of Jeremy graduating both seemed impossible, but look at us now. Jeremy was hardworking, a scholar, and always willing to go above and beyond. Okay, wait. Oh, really? You don't have to lie about it. Okay, he was a dumbass. <laughs> Jeremy, you may now come on stage and accept your diploma. Oh, oh. Your diploma! Yeah! My friends gave me a cake for hitting 16 million on YouTube. Which is very sweet of them. But they tried to poison me. <laughs> The cake had peanuts in it. And everyone knows I'm allergic to peanuts. Literally everybody knows that. Good thing I didn't eat the cake last night. But we are going to prank them into thinking that I ate the cake this morning. This is the most extreme prank I've ever seen Brent pull. I went through three hours of makeup. We got an ambulance and paramedics. I even got my mom in on it. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited too. All right, so now that I have my makeup done to make me look like I had an allergic reaction. Looks real. We are going to have all of my friends walk in one by one. If they're good friends, they should freak out and want to take Care. If they were good friends, they wouldn't have bought me a peanut cake in the first place. Okay, well that's true. <laughs> so I had all my friends come to my house at separate times. I think like the, the oh, boy. she's totally allergic. He ate this cake and I guess it had peanuts in it. Had peanuts in and it. No. Who got the cake? Yeah, oh my gosh, Ben. What'd you eat? I guess the cake had peanuts in it. Yesterday, and I didn't know. There's peanuts in it? What's What's going on? 15, He's not feeling well. What the heck? Yo, Fred, are you good? No, he's really. not feeling <gasps> good at all. He's seriously not. Calm down, though. Gosh. His blood pressure's a little bit low. Are you serious? Can you see, Brent? How do you feel? Are you really I feel like I can't even. I can't even breathe. Yeah, let's take him in. Can you stay? Yeah. I'll get your room. I feel wrong filming. Oh my gosh. Is this actually happening right now? Can you come with the camera, though, Caleb? Jeremy, it's all a prank. 
What? I Yo! No, no, it's not. Oh, yeah. you guys were so good. It's still a prank. No, it's not. Yes, it no, is. No, it's not. It's a prank. No, no, it's not. Why did you just look like that? Ah! Okay, there's an ambulance outside. Of course, I'm going to believe it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not actually having an allergic reaction. <laughs> Yo! I actually believe you. Oh my god. When you get your mom in on pranks, you know it's legit. Because <laughs> all of you guys got me a cake and had peanuts in it. No, it didn't. So, Pearson, what did you learn here today? Brent is allergic to peanuts. So, don't get me a cake with peanuts in it. <laughs> I didn't know. All okay. right, so we're at the mall right now, and we're going to be giving away $100 to strangers who tell a lie they've never told their parents before. <laughs> I don't know if I could do this. This is going to get really juicy. I hope so. Let's go. <laughs> all right, so for $200, what is the biggest lie you've never told? Told your mom. I hit a vape. You hit a vape. Yeah, one time. Oh. Right, Did you know about this? No, of course not. Oh. All right. Well, here you go. Thank you. Oh You're welcome. <laughs> what is the biggest lie you've never told your mom? The most that I've done with a guy in high school. <laughs> well, here you go. Uh, I wasn't speeding, and I've been going the speed limit. All right. Well, here you go. Oh, seriously? Good job. I didn't go to Liv's house that night. We knew. I was at a party, yeah. and it's probably not the first time. <laughs> Alright, well here you go. Oh my god. I've stole like 20 bucks from her first before. Well, here's $100. So that's going to pay me back that $20. Exactly. exactly. I was with a boy one night and I told her that I was taking home a friend. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I want $100. I got pulled over by a cop. Yes! <laughs> Alright, well here you go. Alright, so Jeremy, rolled up right here, I have $1,000. I'm going to drop this from the wall. If you can catch it with your head, using only your head, I will let you keep this money. That is dumb. I'm not going to be able to do that. What do you mean? I was going to bang my head against the wall. <laughs> ah! <laughs> So today's video is going to get a little bit crazy. I went to my local Starbucks and um, asked for their craziest secret menu drinks. The first drink we are going to try is called the Mermaid Frappuccino. Now when I heard this, I was like, whoa, like this must be pretty, pretty cool. Let's see what it looks like. Whoa, am I right? Look at this. Check this out. Ooh, fancy. Ooh, fancy. So what the mermaid frappuccino is, it's a vanilla bean frappuccino with three scoops of blackberry, a drizzle made out of eight pumps of white mocha, and three scoops of matcha powder on top. Let's see how it tastes, taste test. Okay, here we go. Drum roll, please. <laughs> it tastes like, um, just imagine this. You get a mermaid, you put it in a blender, mix the mermaid up, it tastes like is a that, mermaid. Wow. It's not like great, but it's it's good. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna rate this one an eight out of ten. Um, Mason, do you want to give it a try? All right, let's do it. Just start yeah. start from the top and sip down. Ready? Yeah. Mmm. I know. That's good. Isn't it? No. What? <laughs> All right, guys. So that was the unicorn drink. If you guys want to go, no, not the unicorn drink. What am I talking about? That was the mermaid drink. If you guys want to go get the mermaid drink, go to your local Starbucks and tell them you want the mermaid drink. I went and told them I wanted the mermaid drink and they told me what the heck was that. All right, next drink we have is the pink purple drink. What this pink purple drink is, it's a mix between the purple drink, so they put the purple drink in first, then they slowly add the pink drink, and then they add strawberries and blackberries to the top of it. All right, let's give it a try. Hold up, wait, 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 oh wait. Hold up, wait. I, I, I didn't expect that one. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta drink it one time. Is there something wrong with it? You know, I give this one a seven because the looks is fantastic on this, but the drink itself, the, uh, you know, is eh. So the next one we ordered was the Dragon Frappuccino. Once again, when I ordered it at Starbucks, they were like, what are you talking about? And so I had to tell them what was in the Dragon Frappuccino uh, because I know more about their drinks than they do. So this one is the, yeah, the Dragon Frappuccino. Now let me tell you, when we first got this one, this looked like, like it, it was like poop color. It wasn't very good looking, but as we waited, it actually looks really good now. Here we go, I'm gonna get both the, gr the green and the purple here. This one's good. I like this one. Mason, you want to give this one a try? This is the one that we thought was going to be really good, huh? Yeah. Start from the top and get the bottom because there's two different like, drinks. Like from here. Good. Good. What do you think? 
Can't say I'm a huge fan of that. Not one. a huge fan. Not a huge fan of that one. Okay. What do you give it? A five? Four? Probably like a like a six point seven. Okay. All right. That's not bad. I like this one a lot. I like. I personally like green tea and matcha. So I'm gonna give this one a nine. So this next drink is the craziest drink. I've never even heard of this before. Uh, this is called the Blue Frost drink. Um, it is very rare. Uh, chances are, if you go to your Starbucks, they won't give you this. <laughs> I went to five different Starbucks. Cause they, no one knew what it was. Uh, okay, so what this is, is a blue raspberry tea with gummy worms in it, sour gummy worms underneath, and then the raspberries on top. So what they do is, like, at Starbucks, they sell actually sour gummy worms like in the front. So they take that and they put them in and they add the raspberries and stuff. So this is the craziest drink I've ever even heard of. It's gonna be sour, it's gonna be sweet. I cannot wait to drink it. Ah, so excited. Okay, here we go. Whoa. No, this one's really good. Hold up, Mason. This one's actually really good. I'm gonna start getting this on a regular basis. This is actually really good. It's probably bad for me, but I, I like it. You wanna come taste it, Mason? Where are you? Where'd it go? Hey, come back with my blue drink. Yeah, that's like a 9.5. I think I'm gonna give this drink a 10, a perfect 10. All right, guys, so now that we have tried all of these, right now we are going to mix every single drink together in this bucket, and then we're gonna mix it up, and then we're gonna taste it. Lexi, are you walking around back there? No. Lexi is walking around in my shot. No, oh, wait, am I actually in it? Yeah. Okay, so this is gonna get really, really crazy. I'm gonna mix all four of these drinks into this bucket and we're gonna mix it all together and then we're gonna have to taste it. I'm gonna taste it and Mason's gonna taste it, right Mason? No. <laughs> I'm so scared for this, this is gonna be, okay, all right, here we go. Just pour it like this. Bye. Ew. Oh, it looks like poop. Let's say goodbye to Blue Frost. Oh! Bye, mermaid drink. Oh, it's splattered all over my face. Now, the purple pink drink. We're only gonna put a little bit of this one because we don't really have enough room. What we got? Oh. Oh, it's gross. It smells like whipped cream and like stale feet. What? <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. It's actually surprisingly good. What are the odds? I'm not even joking. Mason, I'm not even joking. I'm not lying. I'm not lying to you guys. This is actually really, really good. It's not that good either, but. What? It tastes like, it tastes so good. You keep on drinking. He's drinking like the whole thing. Look at it. This is an ordinary McDonald's, and this is the first ever five-star McDonald's. Yeah. But first, let me show you how we got here. McDonald's is a gigantic mega corporation that turns 1.9 billion pounds of beef into over 23 billion dollars of annual revenue. Nothing against McDonald's, but I feel like we could do something better. What if we made our own McDonald's? We'd be that's, rich. That's a good idea, but we would have to do it right. So if we could turn McDonald's into a five-star restaurant, we could get more customers. More customers means more revenue, and more revenue means that we financially bankrupt McDonald's. So we went to the drawing board and after about 500 hours of developing a name for our business Oh, yeah, yeah the big fancies. <laughs> So we skipped the boring stuff and got right into finding our first location. Hello, is this Hades hot chicken? We were looking to rent the place <laughs> yeah. With our first location locked in it was now time to convert the restaurant So right now we are in the process of transforming this restaurant into Mick Fancy. I can't believe in less than 12 hours We're gonna have an open restaurant. This this looks amazing. You know, this is the best idea I've ever had. This is not your, this is my idea. Your idea, what are you talking about? And this is the first ever five star McDonald's. Yeah! <laughs> The restaurant is done. It looks amazing. It literally looks so good, but we still need to buy the food, hire the staff, and figure out how we're gonna make our food better than McDonald's. We should probably start doing that. We should. In order to complete our menu, we first had to gather our locally sourced ingredients from McDonald's. Then it was up to our newly hired chef, John, to turn this McDonald's food into something McFancy. What's up, boys? How's it going? Uh, you know McDonald's, obviously. Yeah. Basically, we wanna take some of the McDonald's ingredients and flip it around and make it 10 times better. All right, so how much time have I got to do this? A couple. Yeah. Couple yeah, hours. Couple hours Give me half an hour, I'll work something out and we'll get started. Awesome. Perfect. This baby here is gonna be something special. Beef and some twists with puff pastry and crepes and duck salad and mushrooms. This uh, is crazy. Yeah. I wanna see this French 
from. Oh we my god. Should we do a taste test? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. These are really good. Cheers, Drew. <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> that's so good. This so, is a filet of fish. Yeah. There's even caviar on top, look at that. La piece de resistance. This is your Big Mac. That is crazy. Oh. Look at the McDonald's burger inside. Look at the side to side comparison. There you go. <laughs> that's insane. That is gourmet right there. We soaked the hash browns in milk and cream and we made this lovely Paris mash. The red wine reduction sauce. But we wait. made it out of that. Wait, how did that what? go to that? <laughs> like, there's no way. The Big Mac Wellington, three, two, one. <laughs> For a second, it's like tasting a Big Mac, but then it's just a bunch of flavor. And the sauce is so good. So while Chef John finished up the menu, and I made sure the restaurant looked absolutely perfect, we invited some of our friends to check out our fine establishment. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> How did you guys do this? You actually this pulled it off. Do you guys have like a license for this? Do we have a license? No, Drew, shut up. <laughs> you got a violinist? <laughs> <laughs> Roses, candles, gold, silverware. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> Oh my god. Red ribbons, red carpets. But what they didn't know was that they would actually be working for me at McFancy's. What? <laughs> guys, I have your uniform, so you guys are gonna go put those on. Then what are we doing? You two are gonna be the waitresses, and then you're gonna be one of the chefs. What? I don't know anything about cooking. This place is beautiful. Can we start eating and trying things? Well, actually, you're not a customer. You're one of the chefs. What? I thought I was coming here to, like, eat lunch. No. no we all thought that. Yeah. <laughs> what? You work here, too? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Before we officially do the grand opening, I want to do a little test run. So I texted Pearson and I asked her if she wanted to go on a date. This okay. was just an excuse for you to go on a date with Pearson. Yeah. That's we right. see what's going on here. What? What are you talking about? Stop. Okay, please, whatever you do, do not mess this up. Customer is number one, okay? These are gonna be your new chefs. We got Chef Ben and Chef Dom. Boys, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. What the hell is going on? <laughs> you like McDonald's, right? Yeah, I love McDonald's. Well, this is the first ever five-star McDonald's. Can we go inside? Yeah, please? you wanna Can go inside? Yeah, hey, yeah, that's it. What? Caviar? I'm sorry. <laughs> How many in your party? <laughs> There's two. Right this way. Some water for you guys. Oh, thank you. This is like incredible. I must say it's a little weird that every staff member is just staring at us on this. Guys, what are you doing? Get back to work. Dude, I don't even think I can afford this place. I would say our most popular uh -huh. is definitely the Big Mac Wellington. I you will have to try it. I'll and it Ben's try. not the one making that one, so. Okay. I'm going to get an order of the Mac fries, and then I'll get the, um, the filet of fish mousseline. Okay, we'll be right back. All right. The waitresses are a little judgmental here. I know, right? <laughs> and they got a filet of fish. Oh. Oh, wow. Yeah. Here we have the truffle fries. Wow. wow. Mm. Are these McDonald's fries? Yes. No way. Yeah. From McDonald's. Exactly. But we, made fancy. Exactly. Yes. That's literally genius. <laughs> here we go. No. This is the Big Mac Wellington. No freaking way. Yes. This is made out of a Big Mac. Uh-huh. Okay, here we go. What do you oh think? Oh my god. Is it good? It is so good. This is like my new favorite restaurant. I really appreciate you going on a date with me, so here you go. <laughs> the bill, sir. Oh, I will yes. just leave this here. Oh, thank Whenever you. Whenever you're ready. I'm actually not the one paying for it. It's going to be Pearson paying Sorry? for it. Sorry? What? Guys, she's not paying the bill. Brent, this is literally your restaurant. You can just pay for it, right? No. I like from personal space, guys. I'm going to make a big run for it. Wait, what? Bye. Wait, get her. Get her. Get her. Get You're definitely not going on a second date, I'll tell you that. So it's finally time to cut the ribbon. Are you guys ready for the grand opening? Yeah. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh. Oh. Big fancies, big fancies, big fancies. But as the time went on, we began to realize that our business was not bringing in as many customers as we initially thought. So it's been about an hour and no one has showed up. What are we doing wrong? I mean, it takes time, right? For people to like discover a new restaurant. We don't have time. I have a great idea. What? Trust me on this, all right? Whoa, 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 I'll wait, be wait. back, trust me on this. I'll be right back, right? Girl, oh, wait. What the heck is this? What is going on? Right back. What's up, Brent? What is happening? We're making a commercial. And so people can see our restaurant. How'd you get Ronald McDonald? We're paying him a lot. <laughs> Action! Welcome to McFancy's, home of the Big Mac Wellington and our world famous truffle fly. Bro! Mc I this is the third time you messed up. Ronald McDonald kind of scares me. <laughs> so I have an idea. Okay, that's what good. Is that? I'm going to post the first five subscribers that show up to the restaurant get a special surprise. We're going to give the subscribers a gold big fancy happy meal that okay. has chicken nuggets inside mm -hmm. and $200. We're paying for our customers to show up. Hi. 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 Hey, what's going on? Hey.
food. Well, we, have to, we have to keep cooking. Start cooking. Can I start you guys off with some drinks? Can I get some ice water? Okay, we're on it, we're on it. <laughs> oh wow, there's a lot of people. There's like 25 people. Oh god. <laughs> Well, you like some water over here. See, uh, oh, oh. Uh, Liv, are we spilling? I got the water for now. <laughs> what brought you guys in to make fancy today? Was it the commercial that you guys saw? I saw such a big line, I wanted to stop by and try the food. More people. We can't handle more people. Yeah, we have to. We don't have that much food. Guys, start cooking. What do they want? Go ask them what they want. Oh, <laughs> we got more people. Two, okay. You guys ready to order? Look at the check it out the menu. I'm thinking probably the Big Mac. Big Mac Wellington? Yeah, that, that one's popular. Perfect. All right, yeah, I'll be back with that. Are they enjoying it? I think they're really liking it. Is this better than McDonald's? No! Yeah. Yeah. Who said no? They I did. said no. Uh-oh. So you don't like my food? No. Nope. That my chefs work so hard to make? You don't deserve it anyways. Oh, oh my gosh! Ronald! You're fired, you're fired, you're out of here. No, Go. this is pretty bad. Go back to McDonald's, no, Ronald. I can't. They have a restraining order against me. Can I keep the car? No, get out. Okay. Leave, bye. <laughs> Look at the window. Hey, get out of here. Hey, get out of here. Wait, where are you guys going? Wait, where are you guys going? Hey guys, where are you going? Burger King is so much better. What? I don't think they paid. Wait, you are leaving without paying. Wait, guys, what? Guys, we can talk about this. Wait, guys, guys, guys. I mean, nobody else is paying. I'm out. Wait, what? You guys just can't leave and not pay. Sorry. Where are you gonna go? McDonald's? Tender greens. Um, Tender greens? Excuse You're eating the nugget, the chicken nugget. I gotta nugget. go. You, liked, I gotta you go. liked it. We're losing money. Everyone. to pay somehow. Wait, no. The store's ruined. Dom, what are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? We're out of money, Brad. Guys, no, you're we're done. We're done. Are you guys chicken nuggets? Are not a thing. Are you guys really gonna quit like this? This is just sad. We're done. We're done. Figure it out. We're, we're simply out of money. We can't keep running this place. Wait, Drew, this was your idea. Whoa, it was a crappy idea. This is so sad. All of our hard work, we're just tearing down. What we thought was gonna be our next big restaurant turned out to be our biggest failure yet. Drew, you have some bad ideas. Okay, well, this was both of mine. My friend Dom is in high school, and they're doing online classes right now. So today, I'm gonna go over to his house to prank him while he's in school. <laughs> hey Dom. Are you at school? Yes. <laughs> Can you leave? I shouldn't have invited friends over then. You invited friends over? I kind of told everyone to come over. I don't think that was a good idea though. How many people are coming? A lot. Like how many? I call my friend. Uh -huh. Sorry about that, guys. Um, <laughs> I don't know what just happened. <laughs> All right, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave now. Probably should head up. Have fun at school. Thank you. So, Andrew, you've been looking for a girlfriend for a while now, right? I have, yeah. And Valentine's Day is coming up, so I kind of want to help you out here. So, two weeks ago, I asked you what you looked for in a girl. Cool. Do you prefer shorter girls or taller girls? I don't know. I honestly love both. As long as they're cute. Yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> I have two girls here today. Okay. One of them's short and one of them's tall, and you're gonna go on a date with both of them, and you're gonna figure out what you like more. Girls, you can come out now. Oh. Hi. What? Hi. <laughs> when you said like short and tall, I didn't mean like I didn't know the difference was that crazy. Are you ready for the date with us? <laughs> oh, Are you Jesus ready? Christ. <laughs> All right, that's good. All right, let's do it. All right, so Andrew, yeah. we're gonna do the picnic first. Okay. So here are some flowers and chocolates to give the girls. Oh, thank you. Okay. Oh, nice. that's so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> what a gentleman, Andrew, giving her your jacket. Mm. Oh. Oh my gosh. Nice. That's wow. <laughs> <laughs> what in the world is going on right now? <laughs> I'm not sure if I like this. <laughs> so Andrew's learning how to play golf right now. Oh, uh, that was this bad. So Andrew, how was the date? Honestly, it was one of the best days of my life. Um, okay, so I'm gonna ask you this question one more time. Do you prefer tall girls or short girls? I honestly prefer you. Oh, oh, uh, oh! Uh, <laughs> like I'm you. the only person no. in this car that hasn't kissed Brent. Really? You've never, yeah, yeah you have. No, 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 she hasn't. Kiss, right, kiss, 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 kiss. All right, so today I'm gonna be asking awkward questions that guys are too afraid to ask. Okay, of oh, course. Okay, mm -hmm. so my first question is, why do girls always go to the bathroom in groups? Oh, to do, <laughs> it's nice to like take a break from the outside yeah. room yeah. and just talk to your friends. Yeah. So you're talking trash on the people that yeah. are in the room. Yeah. Okay, wait, I have a question too. Okay. Now this is something that guys, I feel like always talk about. It's a weird question. Does size matter? <laughs> 
stop talking like, about size and start talking about shape. shapes. Is oh it an God. octagon? Yes. Out of all of our friends, okay, who would you say is the sexiest or the hottest? Oh, none of them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You have to pick one. We have to. Right, I, we really, okay. I think we unanimously have decided Brent. Don't give him that. Don't oh. give him ego. His oh. ego is being boosted right now. Oh, let's move on. This question has been a big question of mine. Why do girls suck at driving? They do not. No, I, no, I do. You know I don't <laughs> suck. Didn't you just get pulled over like last week? And you're hey, speeding. Hey. Hey. If you were a guy for a day, what would you do first? Well. Oh, well. Okay. okay. Well. Oh, shit. <laughs> Stick my in have every yeah. <laughs> I would put in anything I could. All right, Pearson, what about you? <laughs> I would go for a walk at night. Woo, That's what at I would night. do. At night. At night. That question was definitely very awkward. I feel like I feel uncomfortable right now. <laughs> yeah, if part. you were a girl for a day, what would you do? <laughs> That's a very good question. And honestly, I think that this video should get 300,000 likes. And if, no. it, and if it does, then you guys ask uh, me questions. I oh, I'm down. down. Wait, I'm down. Though. Like okay. the video. 300,000 likes because I have a lot of questions to ask for it. Oh, I can probably answer those. For you, oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, guys. This was fun. Yes. I was enjoying this. This was, this fun. was fun. I know. That's, no, sorry. that's all we got today. Aww. All right, so today I opened a food court inside of my house with three different fast food restaurants. So, guys, we have McDonald's, Subway, and Starbucks. All right, you ready, Pearson? I'm so ready. Let's all right, do let's it. go. Hey, guys. What's going on? Oh, wait, what? Welcome to the food court. Oh, oh shut God. up. Oh, my God. Wow. Thank you, Lexi. What? Stop. What? <laughs> All right, so today I'm here with my magician friend, Evan. What's up? So basically today, we're gonna be giving away iPads using some magic. Oh, yeah. So basically, do you wanna explain how yeah. it's gonna work? Yeah, so I turned over one card face down in this deck. Okay. If you can guess which one it is, you keep the iPad. What card do you think it is? Ace of hearts. You think it's the ace of hearts? Oh. oh wait, there's one card. What is it? I'm shaking for you. <laughs> oh, here we go. Congratulations! We're doing four spades. Four oh, spades. Four spades, baby. Four spades. Here we go. What is, it? what is it? Show the camera. Show the camera. I'm just gonna give you this. <laughs> Definitely wasn't magic. Yeah. Two of hearts. Two of hearts. Are you sure? All right. Here we go. Flip it upside down. Show the camera. <laughs> Two of hearts. <laughs> there you go. Ace of spades. Ace of spades. Hey. Are you sure about that? Yes. Show it to the camera. Oh! <laughs> there you go. Bro, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> what are you doing, Mason? Oh, I'm watching Harry Potter to learn some new spells. Wingardium <laughs> Leviosa. Oh my god. Basically, just... if I can learn this, I can make anything fly. Well, no, only wizards can do that. You will see, my friend. You shall see. Oh. Where are you going? Why are you climbing on my wall? Mason, no. <laughs> this is a bad idea. Don't do it, Mason. Wingardium Leviosa. No, no, Mason, no, no. Oh my. Oh, Mason! Ow. I was supposed to fly. <laughs> Alright, what did you learn here, Mason, today? <laughs> the Harry Potter's bullshit. <laughs> Alright, so we have a big picture of a donkey right here. We're gonna play pin the tail on the donkey, put the blindfold on, and we're gonna spin you ten times. One, two, three, nine, ten. ten. Alright, now All try right. and pin the tail on the donkey. Further, further. Wait, is that thing we're running? What is that? Huh? I'm running, there's, this isn't the... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I won! <laughs> I'm like, I don't even know what I'm supposed to say. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Three, yeah. four, That's nine, fine. and ten. I'm really dizzy right now. <laughs> <laughs> what is that, bro? Oh, no, there's something in front of me, dude. <laughs> there is something in front of me that wasn't there. Oh, whoa! <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'm just so confused on how there's a donkey here. <laughs> Two, three, oh and ten. Gotta get it right oh. on the tail. Is it? I can't feel the wall. What is this? <laughs> this was not. Oh my god! <laughs> it's an actual donkey. Where did you get a donkey from, Brad? I literally ran into. I was like, "What is this?" Yeah, isn't it cute? Yeah, it looks just like the picture. It is. It's the one in the picture. Really? Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Andrew, I don't know if you know this, but there are pictures of you on the internet going viral right now. I'm talking like thousands of likes on these pictures. Your feet are going viral. My feet? Online. Yeah. You're on Tumblr, and you're literally the first one under the category of famous male feet all over what? Instagram. 
this is not a Those are my feet. Yeah. So you've never searched Andrew Davila feet never online? Never in my life. You should. What You're going to be hell? creeped out. <laughs> or have you considered being a foot model? I should. Look at me, bruh. And it doesn't stop there. <laughs> oh my god. How do they get a picture of that? <laughs> my feet do look pretty nice. <laughs> bruh. Wait, should we see him in person? Yeah, can we? Wait, I think oh my god, what's that smell? <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's about to happen right now? I'm on top of the stairs and I'm gonna end up down there. Hopefully I'm on the canoe though. Ready? All right, yeah, give me a push, Andrew. Whoa! <laughs> oh, that actually looks fun. And I was so successful. You guys are doubting me? Yeah. This is round two. <laughs> Bro, what the <laughs> All right, so Drew, I have a game for you. What I'll give you $500 right now, but you have to spin the wheel of piercings. Shut up. Yeah. Tongue, nipple, belly button? Yeah. What are these? You uh, want the 500 bucks? Or? Yeah, I do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. I, I sh probably should have done more thinking about this, but it's okay. Are you kidding? <laughs> That's the only one I didn't want. That's gonna hurt so bad. What do you think your parents are gonna think? They're probably not gonna be excited to see it, but I'll surprise them with it. <laughs> Ready? Uh, go. I get sucked into this. <laughs> to be honest, it was worth it, and now I have a full piercing. I can finally say I got one. <laughs> right now, we are playing Last to Leave the Vending Machine wins $5,000. Let's go! Ben, which vending machine looks really nice for you to go into? I'm thinking the middle one. Can I have this one? Yeah, you can have that one. You guys got the good snack! <laughs> Not All right, goodbye. I feel claustrophobic. I'm locked inside. <laughs> Lexi, how do you feel? Comfortable. I'll be in here all day. <laughs> we have this wheel of challenges that we will be spinning. All right, Lexi, we're going to start with you. All right, Drew, spin it. Hot chips. Oh. In your vending machine, there are hot chips. Grab them and eat one of them. These are literally ghost pepper chips. Go ahead and take a bite. How is it? <laughs> do you want to get out, Lexi? Okay. Ben, are you ready to spin the wheel? Yes. Pillow oh, and blanket. blanket. Now he gets to take a nap? I guess Ben gets pillows and blankets. Let's go, baby. How is it? So much more comfortable. <laughs> All right, Lexi, are you ready to spin? <laughs> Ice bags. Oh. Okay, this is about to be a refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> How cold is it in there? Okay, Lexi, it's your turn to spin again. Oh, no. Doggy Charlie poop. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, guys. so, Lexi, we're going to put Doggy Charlie's poop inside your vending machine. Here we go. Uh, I'm sorry about this, Lexi. But there you go. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, you're really <laughs> <laughs> Lexi, you are officially out. How does what it was feel? I supposed to do? Stay in there with dog poop? Here like we go. Sour, sour candy. candy. B7. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to do this. Open it up and pour all of them in your mouth at one time. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't want to get out, do you? Uh -uh. Okay. All right, so Lexi, it is your turn. Oh! <laughs> raw fish. Uh -huh. We have the raw fish. Disgusting. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> it's. <laughs> Ew! What? <laughs> oh my god. It smells so bad. <laughs> Alright, so Ben, you're up! Come on. Crickets! Oh my god! Alright, so these are live crickets. Uh, now it's time to oh pour no. them in. Oh! Oh no, I already see them jumping. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh. oh my god! Oh my god! The crickets are everywhere! Alright, so Ben, you are officially out. I smell like raw fish, but yay! Alright, Lexi, here you go! Yes! It was almost worth it. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Pour it all in. Yeah! Are you ever really, really bored with your friends? Yeah! I'm bored right now. Well, here are seven fun things to do when you're bored. Yeah! yeah! And smash that like button before it starts. Here we go. Yeah! Number one. The first thing you can do when you're bored is you can prank your friends with a fake snake. Mason. <laughs> <laughs> oh my it's god. <laughs> so my heart literally it. jumped out of my chest right there. Hey Davey. <laughs> <laughs> hey Andrew. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> it's fake. Oh, yeah. Lexi. <laughs> Whoa, wait. Lexi, don't do that to my snake. 
No. Don't, don't, stop, ah, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> All right, so another thing to do when you're bored is to have a rap battle with your sibling. So I have Lexi here, and I also have Spencer right here. What's up, everybody? So he knows how to beatbox really good. Give him a taste of it. <laughs> okay, so me and Lexi are gonna have a rap battle. Are you ready, Lexi? Yes. Okay, let's do it. Here we go. Let's do it. Here we go. Oh, okay, here we go. Hey, Lexi, I got news for you. I'm still mom's favorite, and you smell like poo. And let me ask this How's Benny Boo Boo? Is he doing okay, or should I hit him with a broom? Oh! Oh! Okay, Lexi, what do you got? Comment down below and let me know who you think won this Lexi, rap battle. You guys, what? Yeah, be honest here. <laughs> okay, so another thing to do when you're bored is to get all of your friends to be a boy band and follow you around all day and sing whatever you say. Whatever you say. Nice, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. So I'm with my boy band right now. Oh, no. And we're going to Target. Excuse me. He has to pee. Okay, then. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Can I get a six-piece nugget? A six-piece nugget. He wants a small fry with that. And three ice cream cones because we're hungry. Everybody, can we get a round of applause for our singers? Yay! All right, so thank you guys for uh, being the boy band I never had. You're welcome. <laughs> Okay, we're done now, we're done. All right, so another thing to do when you're bored is to do a fun science experiment with a bunch of your friends. Woo! So the experiment we're doing is the elephant toothpaste experiment. Basically, you put two chemicals together and an explosion happens. So guys, don't try this at home, please. All right, here we go. So we have everything that we need, I think. What we do is we pour this into yeah. this flask. I'm freaking so scared right now. Hello. I'm so scared. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Wait, what the heck? Are you kidding me? Alright, so that failed. So now we have Nick here, and basically we're gonna do this experiment for real now. Okay. He knows what he's doing. Yeah, because the first time you weren't using the right chemicals. <laughs> okay, so now we're all gonna put on our lab coats. Safety first. Safety first. I am so scared. Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna be doing the experiment with Ben, Andrew, and Lexi. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Yeah. Uh, don't do that. Oh no! No! Oh, no, 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 don't do that. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. So I'm scared. Three, two, one, go. Pour all in. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh, 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 o
I don't think you need all that cake. <laughs> yeah, that was a lie. We're gonna eat it. <laughs> we literally spent $130 on snacks. Hello, Ben. Oh, hey. <laughs> okay, so you know how we're going to the movies, right? Yes. We're a little cheap, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna I know. we're gonna tape a bunch of like snacks and stuff to your body. We're gonna Why me? we're gonna sneak food in for our purposes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Ben. You ready? <laughs> all of this is gonna be on your body. We're starting. Oh my god. Look at the Skittles on his butt. I don't know if this is gonna work. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> You're eating the candy? Can I have one? Yeah. We're gonna feed the whole theater. <laughs> oh, this is funny. Okay, ready? Let's put the jacket on. Let's see if this actually works. <laughs> it works! <laughs> look, at, look at his leg. Look at this. So we have the tickets. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Right. Moment of truth. Okay, so we just got in the theater. I told Ben and Mason to wait 30 seconds to come in. Here they come. Oh my gosh, they're walking in. Here they come. You think, look at, look at, here it is, moment of truth. Oh my God. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go, let's, let's go, go, let's go. Andrew, do you know what Ben has right now on his body? He has a $130 worth of snacks. You guys want some candy? <laughs> All right, so we made it into the theater. Who's trying to eat now? I am. Ah! Wait, I call the red vines. Tear them apart. Oh, Andrew's going ahead. Let me get the starboard. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a good movie. All right, guys, let's watch the movie now. Success. Thank you. I didn't get arrested. <laughs> Another fun thing you can do when you're bored is you can surprise your friends with things they love. So my friend Lexi Hensler loves alpacas. So I got one, and I'm going to surprise her with it. Come with me. Come with me. I'm scared. I don't oh, like this. She's so scared. Well, let's look at what you've done to me in the past. On three, you're going to take your blindfold off, okay? One, two, three. Oh my god, it's a llama! Oh my god, no way! Oh yeah. my god! Oh my gosh. Better than Liza Koshi. <laughs> Show everyone your home screen. <laughs> I don't think he likes you. I can't believe you got me an alpaca. Anything for you, Lexi. I love you. Yeah. You're the best friend ever. You can scare me with a clown anytime you want. Okay. What's up guys and welcome to this week's video. Hope you guys are having a great day and a great week. So today's video was gonna be a little bit different. I am here with my friend Kyle. Oh, sorry Kyle, I'm blocking you. Hey. <laughs> and we're gonna actually go to the fair today because the fair is going on. It's been going on for about three weeks now. So we're gonna go over there and get some of the grossest fair food for me to try. Let's hit the road, here we go. Woo! <laughs> So we're going to the OC Fair. They have some pretty weird food. Please tell me why you always say. All right guys, so we just parked and now we're headed to the fair. So we just got in, so now we're gonna search for some, uh, let's look for some food, you know? Let's look for some food here, here we go. So can we get the triple decker cheeseburger, the Krispy Kreme one, the um, frog legs, the deep fried escargot. Avocado? Yeah, let's get the fried avocado. The totally fried Twinkies. The bacon wrap pickle. All right, that's it, yeah. I'm excited. Kyle, are you excited? Yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Hey. So now we're gonna go back home and uh, give it a try. Okay, so we just got home and on the way back, we both almost puked smelling oh, all this gross stuff. This, it smells so bad. So I called up my friend Brennan. He's coming over right now and he's gonna try it with me. Yeah, so we're we need both help with gonna. This one. <laughs> we need help with this one. Let's be over in a little bit and then we're gonna give it a try. So I am here with Brennan. Hey, that's Brennan. Yeah, we got the weirdest foods you could possibly get at the fair. Dude, it's actually a body. It's a <laughs> It's a legs. It's the actual legs. <laughs> 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 nope. We're gonna start off a little bit easy, okay? So we have fried Twinkie. So that's not that bad. Which is fine. Yeah. So, I'm, you know. Alright, we're gonna get a little, get a little piece. Alright. Not bad. It's not bad, but the only problem is I can't stop thinking about how they might have fried this in the same thing they fried <laughs> the legs. <laughs> Dude, they literally look like human legs. Look. Oh my god, shut up. Fried Twinkie. Not bad. I like it. I think Cassie has like a donut, to be honest. Yeah, it does taste like a donut. So next is the fried avocado. So I, I'm thinking this one's not gonna be that bad. You know what I'm saying? It's just avocado that's fried. Ready? One, two. I don't know why people would order this. It's definitely weird tasting. It's weird. It's a weird combination. Like, why would you fry an avocado? It's pretty bad. It's not bad, bad, but it's right. I wouldn't. Yeah, I would. It's just weird. Next yeah. is the yeah. Let's get the donut hamburger. 
All right, so this is a diabetes, <laughs> basically. Two donuts with a triple cheeseburger with donut things. Who came up with this? I don't know. All right, I mean, you can cut a piece. This is gonna be nasty because it's donut with cheese. I'm just gonna do it. Yours is so little. All right, one. Oh, fudge. Oh my God, that cheese. I don't know if I can do the cheese. Okay, ready? I'm lactose intolerant. Are you really? Yeah. Oh, I don't want you to, it's okay, I'm not gonna die. That's not that bad. It's not that bad. Okay, okay. Alright, ready? ready? One, two, three. This cannot be a thing. I don't know if I can swallow it. 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 That's disgusting. That's gross. Frick. Uh, that was bad. Oh, God. Alright, so next we have bacon wrapped pickles. And here we go. One, two, three. It's not that bad. Not I mean, I can see people eating this. Yeah. Now we're moving on to the gross one. So next is frog legs. Let's examine this whole thing. Look, it has calves, it has feet, wow, it has, it has calves. It has thighs. Look at those thighs. Holy crap, this is frog without. Flavor. Okay, we're putting lemon on it. Lemon on the frog thigh. All right, see? All right I'm just gonna take a bite of it. Okay, so ready? Let's do it. Ready? One, two, three. It's chewy. It kind of tastes like chicken. Oh, it kind of does. Wait, I swallowed it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I need to eat a frickin' frog! Wow, we can mark that off our bucket list. Oh! <laughs> okay, I'm done. I ate the frog. <laughs> <laughs> don't think, don't think it's a frog. Just, just don't think it's a frog. Right. 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 It's straight legs, bro. <laughs> it doesn't taste bad. It's just knowing that it's a frog is the bad part. Last but not least, for sure, is this. This is escargot and caviar fried with Doritos and cheese. This is disgusting. First of all, it smells disgusting. Oh my God, they're soggy. I asked the workers, I'm like, was it good? And they're like, oh, we haven't eat, we, we don't eat that. What? Like, wait a minute, you work here. One, two, three. Come on. I can't, do it. I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't physically do it. Go for it, it's not that bad. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Freaking gross! It's okay, Brent, it's okay. <laughs> hey, don't think about it, don't think about it. Oh my god, look at this, one of the, one of the eyes is stuck. <laughs> you do it, can Kyle come in and eat one? Alright, Kyle. 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 No, come here. I'm not doing that. Just Grab a snail, Kyle. Grab a snail. Come on, come in here. Hey, what does it taste like? It, it honestly tastes like chicken. Yeah. All right, oh, ready? Small. Here's its eye. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at it. <laughs> I can't do this. One, two, three. How do you feel after that? I feel disgusted. I, I'm just looking at my chewed up snails. Oh god. It's making me even sicker. Freaking snails.